really intro this video yet, but today I'm here at the mall. I'm doing a little bit of clothing shopping. There's a couple of items that I was really interested in getting. I'm looking kind of for a fall jacket and a couple of fall staple pieces. I'm interested in maybe getting a coach purse today, but I think that that might be realistically a little bit out of my budget. So I'm gonna be doing like a little looking around. Anthropology, Lululemon. I have my pumpkin cold brew with the cold foam from the Nordstrom D-Bar. It's really good. We're gonna do a little clothing try on. I'll show you guys what I got. It's just gonna be a really fun evening. So first I went into Coach and they had so many cute things. This bag right here, I was eyeing for a really long time before I eventually was like, hmm, maybe let's think about it. This one right here was super cute too. Ultimately what I'm looking for is the Soho purse and I want it in a black with the C print and they did not have it in stock. This is so super cute right here. I really like the little raw hems. I feel like that would be so easy to layer. This one right here is also super cute. It's a little bit thicker, but I definitely like the little hem leg. So cute. Real quick, we're gonna peep my fit. My bag is from Teddy Blake, which you guys have seen before, and these pants are from Amazon. All right, so this is the first skirt that I'm looking at. It's a knitted one, super comfy. I really like this brown color. The back is super flattering. It's a really great length too, a nice midi length. I could see myself layering this a lot. This Henley shirt is also super cute. I really like the raw edges that it has. It has like little finger holes for your thumbs and a rounded hem. This shirt is just as cute as it looked online and it is so super flattering. It comes in a bunch of different colors. The little details on this one are so super cute and it's super comfy, so I think I wanna get this one for sure. It's so cute, I love this. This sweater top is also so beyond precious. I have so many tank tops that I want to be able to wear for winter, but I don't want like a sweatshirt that completely covers it. So this I feel like is a really good option so I can still show off the tank top. So cute. This is the last thing that I'm trying on here at Free People. This is a jacket. It's about $200. It has a lot of cool design details to it and it's pretty heavy. I just like wish it was a little bit more flattering on me maybe, but it is super cute. I have a knockoff of this at home and the quality is nowhere near this good. This is buttery soft. The seams feel really smooth on the inside. This is like really so super flattering. I really kind of want to get this. I feel like I would wear this all of the time. It's so comfy. It just feels so nice. I think it would go with everything. This is the scuba oversized full zip jacket in gray. Super cute. This one is really popular. I don't know if it's the full zip one that's the really popular one or the quarter zip one that's really popular, but this is the one that I saw. Um, pretty cute. I like it. The seams in the back are pretty cute and it has the finger holes in this one too. here is definitely the one that I've been smelling on people that I've been trying to figure out what it is for the longest time. I think it's this. 
so I'm gonna go ahead and get this. It's a little bit expensive, it's like 72 for it, but I've been looking for it for a long time, so I think I'm gonna get this. is the first jacket option. It is a size extra small. I think it would be a little bit better in a size small so I can actually put long sleeves under it and wear it in the winter. The sleeves are like a little bit puffy, but I think that they're like okay. I do think that this would be like a really cute option for a winter coat. All right, so then this is the next winter coat option. Pink, it's got some brown in it, it's got some white in it, and it's really super comfy. This is a size extra small, but it still has room for like, I can layer things under it, and it's really comfy. And it's pretty thick too. I feel like it's like neutral enough that I could like wear it and it would be like okay wearing it a couple times in a row. Super cute. I feel like these would be really, really cool for layering. I absolutely love these little thermal tops. These are so cute. I don't want to try one of these on. All right, so now we are at pink, and I am trying on this little crop top right here in like a cream color. Um, it's super cute. Really like the color. And then these are some flared leggings to go along with. And they're in gray. And they've got the fold over waistband. And they're super comfy. These, I'm definitely getting both of these. I feel like they're like really flattering. This sweatshirt came in three different colors. There was like a purple and this green and a blue. And I'm gonna have to get this. I like the crop on it. I like the bat wing kind of sleeves. And um, three quarter zip is my favorite zip of all time. So cute, this is definitely a yes. I just got back from the mall. Not super aesthetic, but do keep the candle far away from the bathtub because it might explode. Um, and then I'm gonna use this bath bomb. I've got YouTube all ready to go. I've got this super cute little bath bomb. It's spooky, scream themed. All right, so I just got back from shopping and I want to do a little haul of everything that I got because I was shopping for a long time and it took me a long time to pick out everything, but I think I got some really cool stuff today. I definitely found some really good fall pieces and I think it's a really good start for the fall season. Definitely want to continue to build my wardrobe as the seasons go on and definitely want to start to get a little bit colder out. Let me show you what I got exactly. I'm gonna start with first with Lush. From Lush, I got two bath bombs and I actually ended up already using one of them. It was a uh, little ghost, like the screen ghost. But I also got this pumpkin bath bomb right here and it smells not exactly like pumpkin. It mostly just smells like Lush, but I really like that. For shopping there, they had the end of the week mask that they were giving away. So I got the Catastrophe Cosmetic Mask, which has blueberries and calamine and it helps like restore your face a little bit. So really cool clay mask right here. That was a little freebie. 
I was most excited to go to Free People. There was a lot on my list. I specifically was looking for the Hit the Slopes. I believe it's called the Hit the Slopes jacket, which is their fleece jacket. And they did not have it in store, but I did find a couple other things. I think I'm going to end up ordering one of those fleece jackets online though, because my friend has one and it just looks so perfect for like cold nights and like to layer with. But I got this top right here in like a mauve color. It's super stretchy. It's so soft on the inside. All of the seams are as soft as can be. It's just like a really super cute flattering top. So I definitely want to get this in more colorways because now that I've tried this one on, I'm obsessed with it. I really want to get a couple other colors so I can wear it more often. So I also got this little shrug because I have a lot of really cute camisoles or tank tops and I want to be able to continue to wear them even if it's cold outside. So I thought that this was a really good option because it still shows off the whole like tank top and everything that you're wearing. And this came in a couple different colorways. I ended up settling on the Ecru just because I knew that it was gonna go with basically anything. Super soft, I can't wait to wear this in the winter. Next. Next, I went to Pink by Victoria's Secret, which I haven't shopped at Pink in the longest time, but everything looks so cute on the outside and they definitely have like, I feel like kind of toned back some of their branding which makes it a lot easier to wear. And they were having really good deals too. So I was like, why not? The first I got were these fold over flared leggings in gray and they're super flattering. They look so good on, they're so cute. I want to wear them out and I want to wear them to sleep or just to like hang out around the house in. Yeah, these are really, really nice. They fit really well. They don't give too much. They have, they have the same material that I remember that these had when I was growing up. Very excited about wearing these. I also got this little cropped striped, it's like a cropped rib long sleeve shirt and an ivory. Super soft, I really like the wide neckline on this and yeah, I can't wait to wear this one out. I also got this quarter zip green, sage green, hoodie and I really like this one because it's plain. I like the drop shoulders on it. It looks really cute when the sleeves are rolled up so you can see a little bit of the actual like lining itself. I like the like ribbing at the bottom is so comfortable. This is like one of the most comfortable sweatshirts. Lastly, I went to Anthropology and I was not really expecting to get anything from Anthropology. I have like only bought a handful of things from Anthropology. It's honestly out of my price range, but I did find a couple of things and I didn't expect to find a jacket there, but I found a jacket which I found to be pretty reasonably priced for them. It was under 150 for this one and it's lined. It's like the cutest pink, super, super soft. I got to try it on. It actually like keeps the wind out pretty well. It, the sleeves are big enough that you can like layer things underneath it so I'm super excited about wearing this jacket and then the last thing I got was the Bassam Woods perfume I definitely have smelled this before on people and I've always wondered what it is I knew it wasn't any one of the big perfumes because I've literally have like been searching for like through Sephora trying to figure out like what this is exactly I randomly just smelled this at anthropology and I was like I think that that is the scent that I've been searching for for like two years now. So I was like, I need to get this right now. This scent somewhat of a cologne meets a perfume. It's very musky. It almost has like a mustard-like sense to it in a good way, if that makes sense. Like it's very neutral. This is something that you could share with like your boyfriend or something. And I think it just is like a really good layering piece. And a little goes a long way on this one. It is super strong. I don't recommend like doing multiple sprays of it. This is a really nice one and it definitely lasts a very long time. So that is everything I got this evening. Thank you guys so much for watching and shopping along with me. I can't wait to do another one of these because honestly, I love shopping. I know you guys love shopping too and it's always so fun to go out and find new things together. So stay tuned. I'm definitely doing another one of these in the future and thank you for being so patient with my posting schedule. I am trying to post more regularly and I'm working on it and I have a lot of really cool videos coming up so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and i love you guys all very much i hope you have a really wonderful day bye